Ever wonder if beer was cold in the Old West? For many years, Old West beer was served at room temperature, when the cowboys don't have an option but to drink it while warm, or it would result in a flat beer. This is because the process of pasteurization was not yet invented back in the Old West times. Drinking cold beer was like hitting a jackpot, and any cowboys willing to pay a premium to get a taste of cold beer. Cowboys and saloon owners made the beer more fun to drink. And at the end of this video, discover how cold beer revolutionized the Old West. When saloons first introduced beer, it was served soon after being brewed. Beer served in a warmer part of the Old West is between 55 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Cowboys did not expect they would enjoy a cold beer, since beer served at a room temperature was traditionally introduced by Europeans. Although in the summertime, when it's scorching hot, cowboys prefer their beer to be cold, and they were willing to pay an extra just to get a cold beer. Who would not? Imagine wearing leather chaps the whole day during summer. A cold beer at night would be the greatest part of a cowboy's day. Old West's earliest manual refrigeration was called Ice House. An ice house is a building that stores ice that can be used the whole year round. It is a surprise how they managed to keep the ice not melting for the entire time. However, the first industrial refrigeration of beer began in 1870 by the Leibman Sons Brewing Company in Brooklyn, New York. Beer would have been fermented first, shipped cold, stored cold, and served cold. Now that was a great tasting beer. However, in some cold places in the Old West, beer could be served cold. From the 1870s onwards, ice plants began to operate in many towns. But before this, did you know that brewers stored cold beer underground? Most saloons had ice though. They cut ice on frozen rivers in winter and make use of them during summer to keep the beer cold. Ice was kept frozen using sawdust and wet gunny sacks. In Arizona, you will see signages that say, cold beer here. In the southern part, ice trading was a big part of the economy. Since there is a huge demand for ice, they import ice from New England and Canada using special ships and making their way through the Caribbean Sea. Some companies in the south, like California, made ice by chemical reaction using ammonia nitrate. Boston's ice king, Frederick Tudor, founded the Tudor Ice Company in the early 19th century. Winter months were so important for his business. Ice was chipped from frozen lakes and dragged by sled going to the ice house. Summer was the highest demand for ice. Icemen delivered them to residences through ice wagons. The ice was placed in an ice box, which served as the earliest home refrigerator. Mostly, beer was kept in kegs and sometimes stored in barrels where the patrons sit. When Lewis Pasteur's study of improvement in brewing beer and ale pasteurization was granted, pasteurization has been around for a hundred years. People use it to avoid food from spoiling. This has been perfected by Pasteur. When the process was introduced to the industry, beer became revolutionary. During that time, sterilization was the best idea for long-term storage, mass distribution, and safe consumption of beer. Ideally, pasteurization was the process of heating beer up up to room temperature so the living microbes could be killed. It is used by some brewers to sterilize and stabilize their products, but you don't need to worry since this process does not affect the quality and taste of the beer. Some say, however, that they feel the process of pasteurization gives a burnt sugar taste to the beer. Though having a cold beer was tedious back in the Old West, cowboys and saloon owners still found a lot of ways to bring cold beer in every hand of a hard-working cowboy. The demand for ice not only gave the saloon owners more profit, but also opened up a lot of opportunities and jobs to the people of the Old West. You have just discovered the amazing facts about the Cowboys' favorite cold beer. Let's watch the next video to know more about the Old West Saloon.